Yo, what's going on, fellas? It's your boy Uj. We're back again once again. And I did leave all of the things that I recently just got from Viz. So shout outs to Viz once again. Really cannot I, I cannot believe everything that they sent me. So as you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell from all of the, the like literally the pile of stuff that they, they sent me. I'm very excited and very happy to show it off um, uh, throughout this video. But we're not here to talk about all these things. If you want to check that out, definitely look at the video, eye above my head, wherever the hell it is, um, to see this um, this haul of stuff that Viz sent me. Uh, definitely check that out. But we are here to finally read this short series. You might have heard of it. It's called Burn the Witch. And why, why are we reacting to this? Why are we reading this right now? Well, that's because it's by a certain fella by the name of i don't know tite kubo aka the mastermind behind bleach if you know your boy uch you know that i have been um a pretty adamant and big fan of bleach bleach has definitely been in the conversation of one of my favorite series uh you know from growing up to where i'm at now there was a point in time that i did fall off on the series when I was in college, but then literally a year ago, I said, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna finally get back to finishing this series. And uh, fast forward to this year, earlier in this year, even though this year has been pretty crap, I will say. Uh, but as far as the anime and manga department goes, we did get very good news that Bleach will be returning in the following year. So of course, this I can already tell is obviously to promote that it's a to, it's a, to promote bleach is to get people ready and geared up for when bleach does make a triumphant return next year to take the anim, anime industry by the pokeballs if you feel me all right and uh without a further ado guys let's just get right into it all right so burn the witch so of course this is i'm able to show a little bit of the images uh, provided by the permission from Viz Media, they did let me know that I can do this. Just a little heads up, and that's why I'm not showing you guys the entire image because that's something that you guys can do on your own by going to viz.com slash on and jump, I think, and uh, read them for yourselves. And I can pretty much show them kind of like this, okay? Just for, for food for thought for, the, for you guys. So this says, witches blow a new pipe. All right. Burn the Witch. This one's going to be a long one. This is a 60, what is this, 58 page? Man, that's a long, that's, this is a big chapter. There's, there's supposed to be like three of these, I think. Aren't fairy tales just full of it? So this chick is uh, licking a lollipop. Okay, girl gets hit by a magic spell, turns into a princess. Gets to wear a pretty dress. Gets to make believe she's picking out some hot guy, but ends up getting chosen herself instead. There she is. It's Ninny. And the magic disappears part way through to boot. Isn't that just the worst? But everyone says they want to be the princess. Hey, Ninny. Nice hoodie. Did you really break up with TJ? So it looks like this girl's like the talk of the town right now. Uh, they know the spell's going to wear off in the middle of things, right? Are they for real? You broke a promise, so... Oh, well. Ah, time's up, so you're out of luck. Think again. Uh, any thoughts on leaving the band? You didn't get along with Macy, right? You're all a bunch of idiots. None of you have any idea why the spell actually wears off. Freaking annoying. Huh? Beam of light happens like a flash. Whoa. And then it looks like she runs away. Ugh, hey. Ninny, wait. All these guys are like chasing after her kind, I think. Damn, what was with that ridiculous flash? She turns a corner. Oh, she looks like she has like some kind of coin and the, she points the coin at the ground the ground like lights up looks like oh looks like another okay this is not some harry potter stuff this is like you see it yeah you guys can see that much okay uh huh oh what okay so she basically vanished into the floor which i guess it leads into like some kind of secret pass pathway or passageway she vanished if idiots are the only ones who get bewitched then she's falling Ninny Spankle reporting for duty. I'd rather be the one casting the spell. All right. All right. So here we go. Burning the witch. So, so for those that are wondering, what is the significance with this story in relation to Bleach? Well, this is actually 
I guess you could say that this takes place in the same universe as Bleach. Now, if Soul Society, think of it as like this. If Soul Society is on one side, this takes place on the other side. Just to, I guess, put it very briefly. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a Bleach expert. I, I will, you know, start by saying that as well. I should have probably said that at the beginning. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to keep keep reading this. So, all right. All right. Is she on a broomstick or something? She's chasing like some kind of deer looking thing. Tip of the finger, edge of the edge voice, razor, iron key of Joe, revenger. Close the eyes at the horns, timber. Five letters and three change, so somber. Damn, she's like spitting bars right now. Did the deer just spit something out? I don't even know. What the heck? Looks like she did some kind of a kind of spell or something. Please don't use your magic. Your antlers will react to the spell. Oh my god, so the deer is doing some magic against her or something like that? And Bloom? Whoa, what is that? That's a big ugly pig. I don't know what that John is. Spell 31, blue spark. Boom. Shot whatever the heck that John was. It made some crazy noise. It's like a bat wing. Oh, it sprouted wings. I don't know if it's gonna be flying away now. Spell 44, flash bumper. Okay. Looks like whoever the black haired chick was got hit back. That was close. Isn't that Bud Buck? Isn't that a Bud Buck? That's an A rank harvest. Okay, so we got like different rank creatures in uh, this part of Soul Society. I know it's not Soul Society, but you know, this is this is filled with witches instead of soul reapers, I, I, I guess, right? What were you going to do if I hadn't made it here in time? You've got no right to complain when you're here super late. Ninny. Okay, so this character's name is Ninny, clearly, all right? I like how she has her hair. Just, I don't know, yeah, a compliment, I suppose. I told you not to address me by my first name. I've got sen seniority. Her name is Ninny Spankle. Wingbind, second umbrella. Uh, normal occupation, pop star. Lead singer of the girl band, uh, what was that C Cecil die twice? Okay, so yeah, so that would make sense. So she was out in the street. And that's probably why she was getting like, um, I guess not confronted, but she was getting a lot of attention by a lot of you know passerbys and whatnot. So that would make sense. So she's a pop star, pretty cool. And her name is Niha, Nihashi Noel. Oh, okay, I like that Noel. Okay, so windbind first umbrella. She's a student as her occupation, South Braxton High, second year. All right, so I'll stop calling you Ninny if you start calling me Noel. All right, so we have Ninny and Noel. Pretty easy to remember, I would think, hopefully. You're the junior employee here. Why are you making demands without batting an eye? Dragons are mythical creatures, but in truth, dragons are neither mythical nor creatures per se. In the, Lon in the London of ages past, 72% of all deaths were related to those grotesque beings known as dragons. That is why London's coat of arms so prominently displays a pair of dragons rampant. And as rampaging dragons tend to be harmful to humans, the need arose to find individuals who could manage them. Those who can live in... People living in front of London cannot perceive the beasts with the naked eye. Reverse London. Okay, so those who can live in reverse London, people living in front of London cannot perceive. Okay, cool. Yes, the residents of the flip side of London, so to speak. Oh, wow, okay. Out of necessity, it became their job to conserve and control the dragon population. So reverse London, Natural Dragon Management Agency. Uh, for starters, what's with you? And this is the Wing Bind. That's what WB stands for. Wing Bind HQ. Okay, so they're like dragon tamers, it seems. It sounds like, I guess, right? So let's see how this progresses. Why do you take on a two-person job by yourself? Because you were late, Ninny. <laughs> seems easy enough. A normal person would wait. Then because I get the entire reward all to myself if I do it solo. Makes sense. He's actually at the bank stand. You guys can see that too, right? Okay, ka-ching. She just made like 512, whatever their currency is. I'm, we're just going to say bucks, all right? That sounds pretty good, I guess. 
I knew it. That's what you were actually after. You make a ton of money in front of London. You could just transfer it. Ah, okay. So with the whole reverse London thing, it does seem like a lot of inspiration does take, you know, from, the, you know, the UK, EU, whatever, you know, London in general. And then reverse London is essentially where they're at, which would, you know, make sense how it relates to society, reverse London. Okay, cool. All right. My pride won't let me. Besides, that's not what I'm talking about, huh? Ooh, I lost achievement points. And so it says she's got 8 out of 10 right now. Even though, and this is uh, uh, what uh, Noelle is saying right now. Even though I was really discreet when I picked the flower, uh, Nini says, all right, I get some points. So now, uh, why did you get them? Oh, they're at it again. These are like a bunch of onlooker people that are, I guess, at their HQ right now. Obviously, because of my assist at the end, you've got that to thank for keeping the commissioned goods safe. But wait, why are you nicking Budbuck flowers without permission? <laughs> this one guy says, so adorbs. The other dude says, stop. You snap a pic and they're gonna snap at you again. Okay, so this is like the town creep or the group creep. You always have to have your, your creep characters, right? That are like hella thirsty. What else am I supposed to do? They lose value if they're already flowering before the sale. I was helping out our client. And this is Noelle, right? She says, see, isn't it pretty? You can touch it if you want, but you can't have it. As if I'd want that, as if I'd want that thing. Uh-oh, explosion. All right, a little bit of action. We're 20 pages in already, 21, 22. Whoa, what's that? Is that a dark dragon in the middle of the city? Oh, sushi? Oh, sushi, calm down. No, it's Balgo. Okay, what a cutie you are. You cutie pie, you could settle down a bit. Seriously, Balgo, again? Okay, so Balgo is the dude that's hanging on by this, uh, this drag, this little mini dragon with big wings. Oh, it's Balgo. Seems like it. Could you do something about that? Aren't you in charge of him? Uh, you mean, aren't we in charge of him? Whoa, what's that? Is that a dark dragon in the middle of the city? Hello? What? Is this like a double page? Yeah, this literally looks like a repeat image. I'm just reading everything just in case. I'm not sure if that was intentional or an accident, but yeah, comment in the section below. Comment, yeah, comment below to see if uh, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm, it's odd. All right, it never happens. But anyway, we'll keep going. Uh, Balgol end up dead at this rate. You've got to actually look after him. Is that you, ex-chief? What are you doing here? He got the axe from Sabres, so he's back at Piper's starting today. Haha, -ha, the heck? That's hilarious. What did you do? Apparently, he was fired because he didn't do anything. Hmm, <laughs> damn. Stop it. The wound's still fresh. Who cares if you got wounds? I don't want to do it. Managing a dragon clad is just some nonsense HQ is forcing on us. We're not getting paid nearly enough money or achievement points to have watch him 24-7 while holding down a normal job. You're going on about that again? Exactly as I had anticipated. I did the rounds to the relevant stakeholders and got you approval for overtime and bonus achievements. What? Oh well, guess we just gotta do it then. It's our time to shine, Niha. You're doing it for the money. I'm doing it for the achievements, says, says, uh, uh, was it Nini, right? Yeah. All right, so they're on there, like, they don't look like, so these are, like, some very fancy-looking brooms, but for all we know, they might be, like, some kind of special creatures that they use that take the shape of brooms while also maintaining, like, their animalistic form, if you guys can see that right there. And if anybody asks, we're doing it for social justice. Okay, so... They, these two characters seems like they have their like um, pre I don't know if you could say premeditated uh, way about going things when in reality they actually are like doing it for achievement points and for the obvious monetary value. You could at least shout that last part first. Ah ah, Balgo, you Dumbo, you better not come over here. Yikes! Uh, th th so this guy's like crashing all throughout these buildings right now. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You didn't get hurt, did you? When it comes to dragon management, there's one absolute rule. 
I'm not worried about injuries, you dolt. What am I supposed to do if I get thrown in jail for a dragon interaction violation? Wing bind HQ is right around the corner, you know. Ordinary citizens are forbidden from interacting with dragons. Uh, okay. Only those who pass the test are granted permission to come in direct contact. What am I going to do if a witch or wizard sees? Ooh, okay. So Ninny got the guy. And then Noel is swooping down. And they are the licensed witches and wizards of Wingbind. Oh, so they're all like, like, they're like bugging out right now. Noel, you saved me. I'm the one saving you, dimwit. Uh, was that a mistranslation? Because, okay, whatever. Uh, there, there, there. Please calm down, Osushi. Okay, so the Osushi creature's wings start like coming, coming in. Osushi's settled. What did you do to Osushi? Nothing. We went on a walk. A totally normal walk. And then out of nowhere. Hey, thanks, witches. So about my window. Okay, so then Noel pops up. Straight up to the dude's window. And then he's like, huh? You guys can see that part. You may use dragon insurance to cover the window repairs. So did you come in contact with the dragon? He goes, no. No, I didn't at all. Niha, do an exam. Got it. Oh, okay. So they got a little device. Looks like a flip phone. Please lick here. The dragon contact prohibition. Uh, prohibition. Okay, interesting. Uh, yes, ma'am. So the dragon contact prohibition was written into law in 1609 to protect dragons and humans alike. Those who violate the stat... The st what? The statutes are sentenced to a hundred year prison term or execution. Naturally. So he licking, he's licking this uh, little device. Uh, whir, ping, it's making a noise. Uh, dragotoxins are at 0 0.3 millicrests. They're within normal levels. People who interact with dragons without proper qualifications accumulate a substance in their bodies called dragotoxins are they when dragotoxin level pass a certain threshold they become dragon clad okay what a relief no it's not i'm sorry so oh well, we're about to find out okay hold on what whose fault do you think this mess even was ow ow ouch that hurt yeek i apologize after the first punch why are you still wailing on me why haven't you put the fence collar on Osushi? Do you not get that as a dragon clad? You're the only one who won't get thrown in jail for touching Os Osushi. I, I did put it on. It fell off. He suddenly sprouted wings while we were on our walk. Hmm, Noel says. Osushi sprouted wings even though you didn't do anything? Uh, e yes. Good answer. Uh, Noel says, where did it happen? The dragon clad are affected with a disease. With a disease. Okay, the dragon clad are infected with the disease from prolonged contact with dragons. Huh? Why does that matter? And then she goes, Please try to remember. Osushi only sprouts wings without warning, then. You imitate his cry, you sneeze, you burst out laughing. That's a whole lot of reasons. The most significant symptom of being dragon clad is. Or that they have a strong tendency to attract dragons by their very disposition. When danger is closing in on you. Okay, so this is why they have these rules in place because then these real motherfreakers come out and oh boy, we're about to get into the actual action of this whole thing. So now we're about to see some ish. Oh, damn, that's a big ass ugly dragon. Okay. So they swoosh back. Noel goes, Ninny, the barrier tape. Oh, that's serious now. So they just have to keep out, keep out, keep out. She goes, on it. So what are you going to do? Spell number four. Stun ball. Boom. Shot to John. Ninny's like, shocked. Damn. Okay, so why'd you even make me put up a barrier just in case oh chief we've subdued uh oh chief so she answered the phone all right 
Uh, we've subdued a dragon, so I'd like the additional reward, please. No, that wasn't our fault. Please don't complain. It's not a good look. <laughs> yeah. Yes, right. I couldn't tell what kind of dragon it was just by looking. And it was rather worked up, so I shot it with a trank to keep it quiet for now. It spat up a little bit of blood. Oh, wait a minute. Did it just shed? Whoa! What in the world? So the freaking face fell off. That is one ugly looking thing. What is that? Nini goes, Niha! Oh, snap. I don't know if that thing just shot something, but it looked like... It looked like Nini saved Noel. Yo, that... Look at this thing. Looks like it went lights out. Uh, oh, all right. So now this thing is like shooting down buildings. Who are they calling? Chief? We need an emergency dragon blockade on Rutherford Street. We've got a dark dragon on our hands. Oh, snap. Rutherford Street. Oh, okay, so the sign immediately changed. It, go, it goes emergency dragon blockade. Oh, snap. So then... So then, okay, so that's pretty cool. They have like a system where it looks like um, all these like barriers just start like shooting up or something like that to I guess, I guess protect people. What was that? What What's that sound? All right, emergency line. This is a notification from the Reverse London BBC. Due to a dark dragon alert, Rutherford Street has been put under a dragon blockade. Anyone in the vicinity should promptly seek shelter. Wingbind is managing the situation. That always gets to me. Doesn't it get on your nerves when they say Wingbind is managing it? I don't mind, since it's our job. These are shelters on Brick Street, Surf Street, and Django Street. No, I mean, it's fine if we say it, but the BBC shouldn't. Chief, the dragon... Chief? The dragon blockade is set up, so it's about time to swap places with... Please give... And this is probably the uh, same thing with the announcement. Uh, please give those accompanying children and those with limited mobility priority. So, okay, so the dragon blockade is set up, so it's about time to swap places with sabers. Call ended. Bloop. Okay. What did you do that? Oh, so she, so, oh, I, I see what happened. So Nini hung up the phone as she was saying sabers. So from what I'm understanding so far, it looks like sabers are the one that's supposed to handle these like dark dragons. But, obviously, they're the ones that handle these things. Or they, they at least want to, right? So she goes, what did you do that for? I should be asking you that. Are you going to let Sabres get all the credit? This is our chance to show personnel affairs how powerful we are. Our duty as Pipers is to take dragons to, to pasture. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Our duty is as... Our duty as pipers is to take dragons to pasture and to harvest from them. We don't need to be powerful. Like I said before, I want to get into sabers. Okay, so we so there's a class system, of course, uh, that that they have introduced. So these are pi they're pipers. I don't know if there's anything below them, um, and we don't know if there's anything in between pipers and sabers yet. I guess we'll find out later on. But sabers is the creme de la creme, it seems. So then they, they zoom off. I don't particularly want to, though. <laughs> so Noelle seems to be... I don't know if she's really lazy, but she pretty much only does what her job entails. She doesn't really like to go above and beyond. Um, and she pretty much just does what she's, like, I guess, required to do. and not, Nothing more. Dragons absorb negative emotions from human they have prolonged contact with and transform into dark dragons, intent on harming people. Dragons generally do not attack humans except during times of hunger. Dark dragons, however, have an intense fascination with humans and will actively assault or kill them. Therefore, the sole method for handling a dark dragon manifestation is eradication, naturally. Okay, so Nini is chasing down Oh, okay, Noelle goes, ball girl. She takes out like a little, like a piper flute thing. She like blows, uh, she blows through it. Please take Osushi and move back. <clears throat> Spell 75. Oh, man. 
wind binds supreme powers that be. Oh snap, sure seems like a catastrophe. Oh, these must be the sabers. Oh damn, these are the top horns, okay. Now, know how long it's been since the last one? A whole century. This is Runo and Jean, and Jean, how do you even pronounce? Oh, Brun, Bruno, okay. I. The type, the typesetting was weird. Okay, so that's Bruno Bangif. I don't even know how to pronounce that correctly. Hopefully, there's uh, someone who read that and who knows for the, the correct pronunciation. Please let me know in the comments. Magic Circle Core Inks. It's only been 96 years. In in can incantation or no incantation. I can read. Sorry, uh, incantation core anthems. Roy B. Dipper. Okay, he seems really cool. I like his design. I like his, I like his uh, little John he got there, right? So he, he, he seems like he's very technical, especially since he corrected this guy. He said, it's only been 96, not 100, right? Uh, that's basically a century. Uh, this is Quinn or Quint near Maliv. This is the Lutergy Luter, Luter, Core Sacreds. Right, all right, and then we got a Santa Claus looking character. Uh, he says, A whole century since we let a dark dragon get into reverse London. His name is Tronbon uh, Taki Takinen. All right, and then we have the cool, calm, collected guy over here, Sullivan Squire. If this isn't a catastrophe, then what is it? At least bother to show up. Saka Rin, absent. Okay. Okay, let's keep an eye out for Saka Rin, right? Harry Shake, quite, quit, oh, they're telling him, quit chewing gum. He kind of gives me the, uh, um, I'm drawing a blank here on the name, but, uh, oh, man, why am I drawing a blank at, the, at a time like this? He was a former captain, green and white hat. I think his name starts with a Y. It'll come to me eventually. But he had the green, the green John, the green John on. He helped, he helped out Ichigo. I, I'm like, I can't, I can't. But that's, uh, that's who I'm trying to envision for you guys to see. To, so that's why he gives me the vibe. He has like the same kind of hairdo. Uh, okay, so none of you have anything to say. Am I the only one taking this seriously enough to be livid? The hell? I did say something. Listen up. What I'm trying to say is this low life ball go or whatever never should have been let loose to begin with. Ooh, so Balgo you Wayne oh Wayne Parks. He's a dragon clad. They got a caution on him. What do you think, old Wolfie? Personnel Affairs, Divine Punishment Core, Gallows. Wolfgang slash bro. My man's name is Wolfgang. Of course he's gonna be godlike. 100%. This matter has also been raised in our core on countless occasions in the past month since he became Dragon Lad. We cannot disregard the situation. Based on our own inaction, we will commence proceedings to eliminate the Dragon Clad Balgo Parks. Wow. And that's how the chapter ends. Jeez. Okay. So, being that this was the first chapter, I gotta say pretty good chapter um it was very very good with the world building and a lot of great interactions with the characters that had a natural um kind of intuitive way to teach the reader more about the world and how everything works um with of course the like narration dialogue uh to go along with it i thought that was pretty cool um and i think that this this reverse london setting is kind of cool um, it's very different from Soul Society, obviously, um, but instead of having to deal with the, um, the, you know, the, um, the Shinigami, I guess, or no, no those, are, those are the Soul Reapers, I'm freaking, I'm bugging, what the hell, um, the, the, the Hollows, right, there we go, um, instead of the Hollows, we have the Dragons, right, that's a di definitely a different approach, um, and I, and I kind of like how the two are very different in that, Obviously, they have like, you know, their ranks with like these strong beings that are the ones responsible for handling the dragons. They have rules set for humans that live in reverse London that they're not supposed to because if they do, they ha there's, a, there's a high chance of them coming into contact 
with an actual dragon, which can then turn into a dark dragon, worst case scenario. And according to them, we haven't seen a dark dragon since 96 years ago or a century ago, whatever, right? So I think, I think this is pretty cool. It sets itself apart from Soul Society and everything within the Bleach side of things that we've uh, gone and grown to know so far. Um, it's really cool. I like it. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to the next chapter, which is already slated to release August 30th. So this three-part series is going to be week to week to week, which is really dope. So um, definitely look forward to that. And since it's so short, obviously, you can expect to see uh, Chapter 2 reaction. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I know this was definitely kind of on the longer side of things. But naturally, for a, a mini series like this with 58 pages, kind of goes without saying expect for uh these to be as long as they are if they're going to continue being this long um the one thing i am hoping to see at least by the final chapter is some kind of announcement towards the exact date for the movie because I, I i i'm under the awareness that there is going to be an animated version of this um, that's supposed to come out this year as well. I think it, during the fall season. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna guess sometime in October, right? Um, and I also would like to see, even if it's just for one panel, a page something, we see a character from Soul Society, whether it's Ichigo, whether it's anybody, doesn't matter. That's all I would, I would love to see that little bit of crossover because uh, there isn't any kind of there isn't any confirmation as to whether Tite Kubo is gonna return and do a Bleach manga like a you know continuation or whatever. But we obviously know that the anime is coming back next year. Um, but again, let's keep in mind that this story is to kind of keep the hype and promote Bleach in some capacity. So we'll see. We'll see what happens in chapter two. Definitely look forward to that. Let me know what you guys thought about this chapter in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter and all of the uh, other socials that I do have included in the description below. Definitely join um, the Discord so that way you can join in on some of the community movie nights that I have, you know, view parties, private stream sessions, and all that kind of stuff. Um, definitely become a Patreon if you guys can. Patrons do have um, exclusive... Um, I don't, they, they, you guys have exclusive perks as far as early releases, early thumbnail access, um, previews on the videos, like early access to videos, and you guys can even give me suggestions on what you'd like to see next. And it does go a long way because it obviously directly supports me and helps me out in the long run. So I would definitely appreciate that. If you're enjoying these manga reactions, definitely become a patron today. And uh, with all that being said, guys, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it logged loaded right here on this channel look forward to more manga reactions in the future and if there's any other anime reactions or manga reactions that you might want to see from me i know that i'm definitely going to be adding my hero academia to the list um in addition to obviously continuing with dragon ball super and boruto definitely let me know in the comments below um yep take care of yourselves uh keep it locked loaded right here like i said stay safe stay clean stay inside i will see you guys next time